What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Right now is an awesome time to start playing DD2, as most of you know, there's lots of people out there that are stuck at home right now, and going to a free-to-play game is just a natural way to spend some of that time, and that has just really buffed up the Dungeon Defenders 2 player base, and really the player base of every free-to-play game that we can track on Steam. Now, with this in mind, there has been lots and lots of questions about the Destructive Pylon Shard. The Destructive Pylon Shard is a Hyper Shard in Dungeon Defenders 2 and the easiest one to obtain. Destructive Pylon increases the defense power of nearby defenses by 38% and increases the defense power of the affected tower by 34%. So if you look at a regular ungilded destruction shard, it gives a 34% defense power increase. So it's like a destruction shard plus emanates that aura to give that additional 38% increase to nearby defenses. Now the easiest way to get a destructive pylon is without a doubt to go to the prime incursions. If we go to prime one, each prime area is going to give you access to a different hyper shard. Prime 1 gives the destructive pylon. So by doing chrome enemies, cobalt blinking, and grimlock's horde all on prime difficulty, you will unlock the destructive pylon shard. Now, do remember if you completed say two of these maps and then did, did an ancient power reset, all of your history for these maps will be deleted, so you're going to have to do all three of these maps again to get your destructive pylon. Now, one of the biggest questions I've been asked is how to use the destructive pylon, and more importantly, why would you not put it on a boostara? Now, for example here, a destructive pylon really is going to be best used on any support defense. So say I'm using Flame Aras as my main defense in a lane, and I throw, say, a Lightning Strike Aura in the middle with Destructive Pylon, that would be a great usage of it. Uh, say, you know, a Snaking Sand would be a fantastic usage of it. Or even, dare I say, a Explosive Trap or anything else. A Proton Beam is ideal. Any sort of support defense that you're going to use alongside of your main defenses is where you would want to use Destructive Pylon. Now, Destructive Pylon, it's unlisted on the shard, but that 38% defense power increase it gives is a thousand range. So if we take a look at this Flame Aura, this Flame Aura is at 997 range. So just as an example, if Destructive Pylon was on this Flame Aura, that would be about the radius of the buff. Now, just to give you an idea of how far your defenses would need to be away. So, for example, if I put a Skyguard Tower here, it wouldn't get the buff. But if I put a Skyguard Tower here, it would. So it just has to be within that 1,000 unit range. Now, when you look once again at the differences between the two shards and seeing that Destructive Pylon is kind of like Destruction Plus... One of the common questions I get asked is why not use it on a Boostara instead of using Destruction? I mean, that is an awesome support utility defense. Why would you not put it on there? Uh, in fact, when you look at the difference between a regular Destruction, let's see, let's use... Let's use Flame Aura as an example here. So if we take a look at a Flame Aura with Destructive Pylon and, or pardon me, a Flame Aura with just a regular Destruction Shard. Our Flame Aura is going to do, in this case, about 2.14 million damage per second. Now, if we look at the Boost Aura, the Boost Aura's damage, or defense power bonus is 14.3 thousand. Now, if we pop that Destruction Shard out and go with Destructive Pylon instead, and we take a look at our boost aura again. Our boost aura is still doing that 14.3 thousand. However, it is radiating that additional destructive pylon buff of 38%. So now when we look at our flame aura, it's up to 2.95 million. Now, when you look at that example right there, it seems like an absolute no brainer. Why on earth would you not put destructive pylon on your boost aura? And here's why. 
Now, just so we're making sure to compare apples to apples, I'm not going to use Gilded Shards here. I'm going to use a regular Destruction Shard, where I would normally use a Gilded one here. However, with a regular Destruction Shard on there, and then the Boost Aura outside, or pardon me, the Destructive Pylon outside of the Boost Aura range, then the Boost Aura is going to get the Destructive Pylon buff, and the Flame Aura is going to get the Destructive Pylon buff. These are both coming from this Proton Beam, as I do have Destructive Pylon on my Proton Beam. Now with the Proton Beam buffing both defenses instead of just one defense buffing it, I'm kind of getting a double whammy effect on that Destructive Pylon, where the Flame Aura itself is getting the buff directly from the Proton Beam, the Boost Aura is getting a buff directly from the Proton Beam as well, however, the Boost Aura's buff is being passed along to the Flame Aura. So that gives me that double dipping effect, and if we take a look at the boost aura now, it's up to a 20.5% defense power bonus because it's being buffed by Destructive Pylon and it's passing that 20.5k that defense power along to the flame aura, which is now at 3.12 million up from 2.95. So hopefully that helps some folks understand why it's always better if you're using a boost aura in your build at all always use the Destructive Pylon outside of the Boost Aura and outside of the main defense that you're using for power. So no wrong answers here, use it on whatever you want. Uh, as I mentioned, Lightning Strike Auras are a great place to put it, uh, Snaking Sands are a great place to put it. Basically, put it on anything, but put it outside of your Boost Aura so you get that double whammy effect. So that will do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully this helps people answer some destructive pylon questions in 2020. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.